signing in here for Sid Survival Guide. This is Eric. Up. He's going to be uh, joining me and the boys. Actually, we're joining him. He drove up here. We we caught a ride. We are at Campsite 13 in City Co. And we're going to set up camp. This is going to be a overnight. It's going to be about 50 degrees tonight. The, the last time we're going to be able to take the boys camping because we didn't really condition them or anything for the cold. So this is a transition into winter stuff in the cold maybe. We'll figure that out. See how this goes. I'll be honest, I'm all about bushcraft and I don't know nothing. I'm learning. But I've also I've also done so many different types of work that this as weight, this is nothing. And this saves my hands the most useful tools I will ever have. These are the most useful tools you will ever have physically so I don't understand why this isn't this is so so light and so simple Thank you. 
see it when we do something else. Yeah. We'll see you guys when we go to start a fire. Was a natural. He is a natural. Hi, camera. Look, look what I found. It's a flower and it's beautiful too. I don't even know if there's any fish in here right now. I'm, I don't have any knowledge really of uh, where fish reside at what times of the years and what temperatures of water. So, okay. new. Hi YouTube, I'm here again. This pine cone right here. I don't know if you can see it right here. But it has stuff as sticky as s'mores. In case you don't know what s'mores are, s'mores are what was it? S'mores are marshmallows, chocolate. Well, well, marshmallows cooked over a fire, chocolate, and some graham crackers. Okay, that's all you need to know about this.
I think at some point we forget about things like this. I'll, nature is stronger than man. I myself could not create what this river has, has created. So I gotta have a level of respect for it. You have to. It's not like if you don't have respect for it, nature is going to take it out on you. But what's going to happen is the environment around you is going to suffer. I don't want that. I don't want anyone or anything to suffer. Even if I hunt, I want the kill to be direct and, and over. No chase. So... respect it spend time with it treat it like the thing it is a living it's a living thing this earth is living and every other living thing like children we care for it ten percent What it did is it's like it created a blood blister instantly and popped it, huh? Oh man, it punctured it like three times. Oh. Septic left on it if I wet it with my hand. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Always update your first aid kit. <laughs> yeah. For real. Right. Punctured it like three times. All right. What do we got here? We got something to tape it up with? Well, it's a bandage for now. Okay. I'm gonna fold it up however. Right there. Right there. Here's our There's some uh, black gorilla tape, but there we go right there. Okay, here we go this for a second. This is a this is an old construction thing. If anybody is in construction and knows about it, electrical tape is one of the best things as a first aid thing because it's like a vinyl material so oh it's too tight it's too yeah. tight i can feel it my toes yeah i bet you can <laughs> <laughs> okay Woo. what i was doing is uh yeah, there you go. What I was doing is picking up a couple logs over here, and uh, one of them sat down on the other right here and got me. That's what happens. You gotta be careful, guys. I, I had tools in my hands and everything, so I was I was extremely lucky that it was just my fingertip. Thank you, sir. Okay.
Man, we stopped and got these burgers at the market closest to here. Two is heating. Two is not heating up. I just haven't flipped them yet. They are falling apart. They are soft and gross. Is that one firm? Nope. I mean, it sucks too, cause like these over here are probably done. Cooking on this heat like this. Yeah, they're almost there. Yes, sir. We brought that, but it's still frozen. So we broke out the, the backup. So we're trying to, no, but we're trying to do dinner. So we're trying to, uh, figure this out I can't go down there with you I can't untangle a line while I'm cooking you know what I mean so when we get done with food if there's still a lot you can fish okay yeah oh yeah <laughs> it's firm you want to but well, I'm I'm pretty. Ouch. Yeah. All right, hold this. What? That hurt. Some palm sticks. <laughs> oh my God! Look, some green. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is all trial and error. Obviously, you guys have seen the string cheese, and we forgot cheese, and well, we forgot buns, and then both of our lovely women showed up. We already bought buns, but they went ahead and brought us some more. They wanted to come visit us. Jessica knew where I wanted to go and Angie pinged Eric. So that was like a uh, Sherlock Holmes thing, <laughs> you know? You want to have a soup bowl? Nah. All right, Ma, uh, do you want ketchup? Uh, Just ketchup? Ketchup? ketchup. Yeah, that's what I say, you want some string cheese on it like that? Mm -hmm. That's all we got. You sure you yeah, don't want string cheese? Got, Just, ketchup. Just ketchup. Just ketchup? Catch up there, buddy. All right. Oh, Please don't do that till we're done with this. Yeah. Oh my God, it's so fucking good. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. Mm. It is quite tasty. Suck trying to keep it together, but that could be the way I cooked it. I'm gonna double mine up. So if you want to, feel I free. am. Feel free. Believe me, I am. You want some more cheese on top of yours? No, no, no. All right, here you go. Some lettuce. All right, well, this is uh, trial and error. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying it. And uh, any suggestions are always welcome. Always welcome. I would love to hear from you about how I can do this better. This is documentation of the learning process. So I really enjoy having you guys. I really enjoy Nathaniel coming out here, Eric, Mark.
No, I got you on that one, didn't I? <laughs> Mom, I don't know how to eat that part. I'm back that right? part up. Mm. Yeah, it's yours. I forgot to put it in my stuff. After I'm done with the emotion, I don't eat my snails. Okay. Oh, oh, no. Oh, what you got going on here, Alright. Alright, guys. I'm going to call it a night, guys. It's kind of early, but it gets dark early. So it gets light early. And he already told me to wake him up for fishing. So. See you guys in the morning. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it, and I could be wrong, but I think that right there is the last star in the sky. Still got the moon. It's cold. It's not that bad though, my hands are starting to hurt. <laughs> it cold? got chopped up. Yeah, it did, didn't it? Yeah, it got fucked. Uh, I'm gonna be in the tent. You can get back in there and cover up for a few minutes.
Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this. It's been a blast. One day. We got here about 11 o'clock, 10 o'clock. Took about an hour to drive here, but man, take it in guys. This is City Co. Beautiful place. Please make sure to like and subscribe to help the channel grow because I would love to go do this more. And the only way that I can do that is uh, with your guys' support. You guys uh, just liking and subscribing and watching the videos, that's all you have to do. I have a Patreon. You, no one is obligated to even go to it. It would help greatly because I will use that for more adventures like this. This is Sid's Survival Guide, Chuck and Deuces.